Hello, I'm Dr. Jessica Ash, and I want to talk about the concept of deliberate parenting. I'm going to start with the idea that many of the activities in parenting are very selfless, and we feel that as parents every day. Changing a diaper is not fun, and you change a lot of them. Getting thrown up on is even worse. Taking your child to the emergency room is filled with fear and anxiety. So there are a lot of activities that are very selfless, and at times uh, we feel demoralized. But I talk about deliberate parenting because I want to give you a guide, like a light, uh, like a light post, to keep you um, on track. And so we don't throw out the baby with the bathwater. Means that we don't not have babies because we have to change diapers. We, we, do ch we do have children anyway, even though we know it's filled with, acti filled with activities that aren't a blast. So I started with a mission statement, which was to create productive, well-adjusted adults. I create activities that develop my child's mind, heart, spirit, and emotions. The first part of that mission statement uh, the idea that I would create a productive adult. What that means is you can't create a medical doctor with the brain of a poet and vice versa. So you can't say that I'm gonna create a rich adult and you can't, can't also create uh, a, um, a happy adult. People aren't always happy, but you can create one who's well adjusted to weather the storms of life who has a sense of well-being um, so that they can find their happy place after going through a tough time. What that looked like in practicality was after a healthy huge breakfast for a boy, we would go off to the park for lots of running and hanging from monkey bars and sliding down slides. I played tag with my son until he was eight, at which point he was so fast it was tag, tag. There was no game anymore. Then he found the running team, and that was the good, uh, a right place for him to grow up. Before I had children, I thought that finding your child's sport was the key to parenting. But my daughter came out singing, literally singing, and I didn't know what to do with that. But I found a children's choir, and she dedicated many hours of many days of her youth to that choir and it ended up being a very healthy place for her to grow up. And part of the point of this is that you want adults that act like adults. I know many adults in their 50s who don't act like productive adults. And that was one of the reasons why I created my mission statement. But I remember once when my daughter was four, I got a babysitter for free and I got to go to the grocery store alone and I was so happy to go to the grocery store alone and that feeling was quickly followed by despondency. Wow that's really pathetic that you're happy to go to the grocery store alone. So there are lots of moments where you can doubt yourself and my mission uh, made me weather those storms and my concept of deliberate parenting helped me get through it emotionally because there were a lot, I had no career. I became an art teacher when I needed to, an ESL teacher when I needed to. I worked with the teachers all along and I didn't have my own sense of self uh, as necessarily separate from them, which was very difficult. And, but 23 years later, I'm here to say it was absolutely worth it. My father had a saying that you can spend your time and money up front proactively on activities to grow their minds or you can spend your time and money after they're adults reactively getting them out of jail or paying for um, counseling and I made the right choice with these deliberate actions and these proactive actions and I tell you now to give you hope if you're at the beginning of your parenting that reading with your child at nap time, which when they're two, all that means is you're looking at a picture of a dog and saying, that's a happy dog. 
and then you're looking at that book five times in the same day. But uh, reading at nap time creates somebody who has a love for learning, which is very, very different from creating somebody who knows how to read. Because my children have a love for learning, they have a zest for life, and they are very curious about the world. And that's so different from teaching someone to read. So I encourage you to develop whatever your mission is for your children and engage in some type of intentional or deliberate parenting.